Hello family, God bless you. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You're welcome. If this is your first time seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray it blesses you in the name of Jesus. Please kindly consider to become a part of this family by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content you're going to be the first to know and if this is not your first time thank you family for always coming back i love you so much and i intercede for you always god gave me this word he said uncle uncle that is a very great word that is a very it made a lot of sense to me i tried to understand what he meant about uncle he didn't say much i just heard him my spirit uncle and I was like, God, what do you mean? What are you trying to tell me? And as I was processing it, and this is what I got. As we get into the year 2022, our anchor has to be the Lord. The future is not always certain, but our certainty is on the fact that we know God who has been to the future and is with us right now. The advantage with, with us is that God has been to the future and he is with us right now. So he can always tell us what to do and when to do it. No one knows tomorrow. No one knows the future. But our assurance is that we have God and he has been there before us. The Bible says he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. That means he was before time was. He created, God created time and he is out of time. God is not limited by time. There is nothing that limits God. He is not limited by time. By time. He created time and stands out of it. It means God knows what is going to happen tomorrow. He knows what is going to happen next year he knows everything and we are happy we are we are fortunate because we have him on our side we can put our trust on god we can anchor our faith on his love for us we can trust that he will not let us down we can trust that he will not let us see destruction he's not gonna let the devil rejoice over us our only hope to face the coming year our only hope for survival, our only hope for victory, our only hope for prosperity, our only hope for happiness is that we anchor our faith on God. Hallelujah. That is the surest way to make it next year. That is the surest way to happiness. Times are so uncertain. We don't even know what is happening. We don't know what tomorrow might bring. We never saw coronavirus coming and there are many other things that we haven't seen them coming and that are going to be around next year. We, we will not see them coming, but they are going to be around. But our assurance is in the fact that we have God. And to someone, you don't have anything. You don't have anything. But thank God you have God. You are asking yourself, what do I do? How do I go about it? I don't have a home. I don't have a job. I don't have a family. It's another year coming again. What am I supposed to do? What am I going to do? You're already feeling depressed. You have God. That is the best thing that can happen to you. If God is everything you have, then you have everything you need. One with God is a majority. If God is on your side, it means it is well with you. It means everything is going to work together for your good. God should be your anchor. If you lose everything, if you don't have anything, do not lose God. Do not lose God. Anchor your faith. On him anchor your trust on him anchor everything you've got on God he will not fail you he will not let you sink he will not let you sink one of the things an anchor does is that it sustains a ship it stops it helps it from sinking God is your anchor he will not let you sink that is your assurance you're getting into the next year with an assurance that god is your anchor he will not let you sink hallelujah father lord we thank you for this word Thank you for this word you have given unto us. Lord, we have decided to anchor our hope, our trust in you because we know you will not let us down. You will not let us fail. You will not let us sing. Father, I pray for as many people who listen to this word that it shall have an effect in their life. They shall anchor their hope on you. Lord, I pray that this word shall have an effect in their life. They are going to work according to the dictates of this word. This word is going to have an effect in their 
life the result that you intended for it to have when you sent forth this word i pray that it shall be a reality in their lives in the name of jesus and lord i pray that even as they anchor their hope their faith in you they shall not be forsaken in the mighty name of jesus may the lord bless you and keep you may he cause his face to shine upon you may god be gracious to you and may he keep you in perfect peace the shalom of god nothing missing nothing broken in the mighty name of jesus amen i love you so much and i pray for you always